a relative newcomer as far as top eight finishers go, but he's definitely um, someone that's been on your lips as far as players to look out for in the European region. Don't say, don't say he's been on my lips. That's so weird. Don't say that. He's probably an EU kid, bro. Chill. Yo, you're the that's one who so took it there. Weird. You're the one who took it there. That's it's an innocent so weird. statement. You said the word swada i was repeating that's so weird swada oh versus blaze gosh. game number one losers top eight blaze of course gonna be coming in with the brin very strong pick in the european region axe obviously a very good pick and then with the recent spear buffs blaze will be able to do a lot yeah like you were saying definitely a swada victory here would be a massive upset blaze coming in fifth we are slightly outdated, uh, keep in mind, so it's a fifth asterisk. And Swada coming in right behind Zyder at number 11 asterisk. Ooh. You see the chase down coming out from Blaze, though. Had some really good axe damage built up. Swada going to start reaching for the knockout. Downlight into recovery would not be the best option here for Swada, and it's going to be a side air for Blaze to finish off the first stock. Blaze fairly hurt here. Hammer pick up and falling neutral air still not going to be enough. Again, tri platform maps tend to have higher ceilings because of those platforms. Ooh, the backside of that dare doesn't go for the turnaround D light. Blaze just zoning Swata out from the middle of the stage. Swata's going to find the nair on the hammer, swapping over to the bow. Doesn't try to juggle weapons to deny the spawn. Spawn comes in. Swata looks like he's moving towards it. Blaze grabs the spear out of the air. Swata's able to get back over to the bow and grab it. Nice side light, D light, side air, sending Swata off screen. Misses the pogo, but Swata finds the neutral air, which will guarantee the wall touch. Early damage, risky spot for Blaze being underneath the bow, that bow ground pound. Highest fixed force in the game. So just initial damages that can hit hard. Yeah, that was kind of a big commitment. I almost expected him to start with the dare. And then if that misses or Swata like dodges through it or something, then you go in for the ground pound. As for the pogo, Swata's very low. You saw how low on that wall he was playing to try to avoid any sort of pogo pressure from Blaze. Blaze looking for the side air now. Uh, finding the hit, the down light. Ooh. He's searching for these knockout moves, but unfortunately, all he found was the D light. Went for a side air, missed. Went for a neutral light, missed. Going for another neutral light, missed. He went for a down air, that one hit. Down light to knock <laughs> out a high ceiling map with an axe down light to finish off the stock. That's a lot of damage that Blaze had to put out on Aswada, but he didn't take a lot of damage to get there. So that's okay. Yeah, this is still a big lead. That's what the L and Blaze stands for, is lead right now. And that's what the B stands yeah, for. Oh, yeah. Yo! Why, why did you lead? skip the yeah. first letters? Ground pound. Let's go. Blaze going to take game number one, retaining that big lead over Swata. 549 to 321. Those are the damage numbers from these two players. Blaze just controlling that game. There's a swap over to Sidra from Swata, level 35 Sidra, banning out these soft platform maps, taking out Crystal Temple, Small Enigma, Small Great Hall, Miami Dome, leaving Small Mammoth, APOC, and Small Brawlhaven on the board. Dexterity stance coming from both of these players. On to the Mammoth Fortress. They're getting rid of all of those platforms except for one that moves around, but it's not going to be as high of a ceiling map. Might work out a little bit better for Swata. Now, it's interesting. Swata is using the just like straight up default sidekick when you would think that he got his viewership rewards this weekend, likely having the Drake sidekick. You know, maybe he just didn't have time to, uh, to put in his redeem code, all right? He got all his that points, but he didn't redeem his code. Or he gave his code away. Kind of a critical misstep. I think that's why he's losing here. Yeah, maybe just a little Blaze bit. Blaze is, is, is playing better, Ooh. but also that sidekick would have helped. Maybe he wouldn't have gotten knocked out by that neutral signature. <laughs> or at the very least, he would have been brought back in with a, a lot more style with that Drake sidekick. There's, there's no way of, literally no way of knowing. All we can do is speculate. Know. But nice falling down air from Blaze, and you see in Swata, he's gonna start putting out those projectiles, really just trying to control space. That's something that works well between the two characters that he's playing, right? He had the Yumiko, again, putting out Wisp projectiles to try to control space. 
Now he's over to the Sidra. Again, cannonballs to control space. Blaze playing right around that weapon spawn, throwing his axes up, juggling them, but catching them at the perfect time. Continuing this pressure onto Swata. Getting him deeper and deeper into the orange. One more hit, and he's probably going to be red. It is one more hit. There's Whoa. that nice dare. Whoa, that weapon toss. That was such a good one. It almost connected, but a fantastic spot dodge from Swata to avoid the weapon toss. And he still had just enough to get over to the corner and get the touch gets up. Downlight recovery. And Swata able to even up the stock count, but he is hurt in the red. Yeah, great dodge on the weapon toss. And then another weapon toss that came in. Blaze throwing his sword down. Swata spot dodging to get through the weapon. And then gravity canceling the D-Light into the recovery for the knockout. Oh, but a big side air from Blaze. And he's already charging up the weapon toss. Gonna juggle. He wants to stick with the spear. There it is. As Swata finds the weapon pickup, it's gonna be the sword. Zoning away in the air with the neutral air on the ground with the neutral light. Just trading blow for blow back and forth, but of course Swata behind an entire stock. None of these trades going in his favor. Yeah, this is very tough for Swata. Even eats a neutral light on his way back towards the stage, trying to use those side airs to put pressure out to get back up on. Blaze is just like, I've got further reach. I can just poke you in the face with this. Swata's finding these D-Light Nairs. It's two back to back. As Blaze very damaged. Oh man, that was quick movement from Blaze. Coming in with the down air. Again, trading blow for blow. Blaze is like a little bit behind in terms of damage, probably even now. But he has an entire stock up on Swata here in game two. Looking like Blaze is going to take this one unless Swata is able to sneak it. Just grab it away. Yeah, I mean, even if Swata gets the stock off of Blaze, he'd have to basically gimp Blaze to close out that game. And unfortunately, Blaze is going to find that side air. That means Blaze is going to go up 2-0 over Swata. Swata now thinking again on what he wants to do with the character swap. He's already made the swap once. Is he going to go for the swap again? Still thinking about it. I have no idea who he's some of play. those. I, I don't either. I really don't know. Seeing if there's anything in chat that he's saying right now. It's just blazing him from any talk. Jala. For hmm. Game number three. This is an interesting pick. He's level 45 on it. So yeah. he's put in some time onto this character, but still uh, kind of an odd pick to come out. Will retain the sword from the Sidra. Uh, but not going to have too much carry over into the Yumiko. Uh, Could have seen a Bodvar. That would have made a little bit of sense, right? But uh, this is interesting. And even though he does have an axe on this kit, you still saw him ban out all the soft platform maps. Or, oh, sorry, the static soft platform maps. As, of course, we're going to Mammoth, which has that moving soft platform. Sidelight from Blaze. Went for the gravity cancel. D-Light read. from Swata. Finding some sword damage here. Nice punish. Trending blow for blow, but I think Swata's just a little bit behind. Nice D-Light Dare. Now he's ahead. That put Blaze into the orange. Weapon toss going. Here's the axe in hand for Swata. You see how far that side air is sending him. Even when Blaze is just in orange. Sent to the right side of the stage. Sent to the left side of the stage. Swata. Has kind of a lot of control in this game so far. Holy cow, that almost knocked out. He's doing very well for himself. Even the weapon toss for extra damage on the Blaze. Blaze gets back up onto that soft platform, though. Swata still needs to find something to finish this stock. I almost want to see him switch to the sword. The, like, the downlight recover to finish off. Air coming in from Blaze. Yeah, that's something that he risks. By continuing to have this axe in hand, he's going to have to fish for those kills, those inconsistent kill options, harder than he would oh, no. on sword. And that might oh. allow Blaze to catch up, finish off the knockout, and now take the lead. Swata had such a huge damage lead, but the inability to finish the stock off really uh, hurt him there. He does find the Neutralite to finish it off. And he's going to be sticking with the sword for the second stocks here in game number three. Weapon spawn coming in, goes high right. Blaze is there to greet it before it even touches the ground, before it even gets close to the ground. The rolling sideline. Blaze with a bigger Swata's response. Swata's finding some momentum here. 
But man, Blaze is hitting like just enough hits to keep himself in the lead against Swata. Swata with an axe in his hand. Oh, nice. Oh. Down air. Another one. Could be the Swata gets the stock. Beautiful play from Swata coming out to wrestle the lead back in his favor. Oh, and the oh, weapon oh. toss? Ooh, and he grabs the axe too. Back over to the axe, like you were saying. Blaze with the spear in hand and Swata backs up. He knows he's fairly hurt here. Doesn't want to give up this stock too easily. Going to get some damage on his way out the door. Still holding on to this stock though. Nice spot dodge into the neutral light and the weapon toss. Spot dodge right after it as well in case Blaze responded out of hit stun with anything. Swata now finds himself with a very solid lead. Spot, spot dodge just right through the weapon toss again. Swata. Oh, Swata. Oh, Swata. Swata. Oh, did get caught there, but still living on this Jala second stock. Another neutral light. Going to be going over to the axe for the ground pound attempt, but Blaze might have overcommitted there. Swata going oh, real high, oh. but it bounced him off the stage. Yeah, he was so close to finding that dare in a direction that would have led to a knockout. Fortunately for Blaze, it did knock him onto the stage. But then fortunately for Swata in the other direction, he's able to clean that game up and take the two stock. Blaze, of course, going to be sticking with the Brin, though. Worked very well for himself. And Swata, of course, with the Jala. I'm liking the Jala. I was confused at first, but you know what? I respect it. Yeah, the Jala swap was what kept him alive. He was down 0-2 in the best of five. Now he has at least one victory to his name. And after a confident performance like we saw last game, he might be adding two more victories to that. Oh, he's going to need all two of those in order to close out this set and continue on in this bracket. It's going to be tough as Blaze just needs to win one more. He just needs to find that one adjustment. So you know how there's like 1080p, 1080i? Does 720p stand for 720 poly shot? Do you think? Maybe. Um, probably not. I think so. But you keep keep hoping. I, th I think it does. Uh, nope. Pretty sure P stands for progressive for all you camera heads out there, and I stands for interlaced. That that no that. Doesn't. Okay. I don't I, I don't think. Do so. Do you think Poly Shot named himself after? No, his name came first, okay. for sure. Just like this first stock is going to nope. almost go the way of Blaze. Oh, the sideline sider. That's how you try to make that transition. Not going to make contact. I, I tried really <laughs> hard. I was really hoping Blaze was going to find it, and it was going to be uh, the most seamless transition that we'd ever seen. It was almost clean. But it, it didn't happen. That's uh, that's live esports for you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's how you know this is not pre-recorded. Yeah, we are reacting on the fly. Swata, though, with the sword in hand, going to react to the pickup from Blaze. Down light, down air. Great improvisation off the moving soft platform. And Swata's going to keep the stock count even. Swata's kind of the platform king so far. He's been playing really well with that soft platform on Mammoth. He's been doing stuff while it's static. He's been doing stuff while it's moving. That's kind of his territory. It's so interesting. Like most people play around the soft platform. Most people are just like, all right, I'm going to play on the stage. And this platform is just sometimes here. But it's really cool to see Swata bring it in and be like, I'm going to play with this and utilize this when yeah. I can. Or you'll see people like, oh, I'm being juggled in the air. Here's the soft platform. Oh, That's no. going to kind of be the soft wall between me and my opponent. But Blaze with the weapon toss going to secure that knockout. Big lead so far for him in this game four. If he can continue this, he'll take this victory and move on in the tournament to face the Ninja 729. Got a really solid damage lead right now over Swata. Of course, a full stock advantage. Swata with the axe in hand. Couldn't quite find the side air off the bounce. Swata's going to have to play some darn good Brawlhalla oh, no. to come back from this. And if Wall Slip keeps coming in, that's not going to be what he wants. The tough spot about wall slip, right? Like, of course, if you hit all three, then you don't get your jumps reset, and then that's really bad. But every time you hit that wall slip counter, the, the time before that counter starts again, it's smaller and smaller, and Swata's got nothing. He is out of here. Blaze oh. overcommits, but he doesn't care. He's got the extra stock. And just like that, Blaze is going to win it 3-1. And that's going to be a JV2 as well. That was big. He had no damage on that final stock as he gets knocked out in the end. 516 damage to 363. The Jala switch was good, but it wasn't good enough to take out Blaze. 
But you know what might be good enough is the next match of Simple versus Pavelski as they are so eager to fight each other. They are immediately banning out before this uh, fantastic bracket graphic can even come up on screen. It, Simple's like slowly trying to ban out maps so that we can talk about the fact that he's about to fight Pavelski.